Hey there guys, it's your good old pal Nathan Man back with you. So today I'm going to show you all how to make a fancy coat rack. So let me catch up to speed first with what's been going on with this little thing. Um, firstly, I actually had a bunch of clips previously, but I lost them when I lost the computer, which was a little while back. Um, but luckily, I've had to put it off because of lots of stuff in my life lately, so I haven't been able to do a whole lot of woodworking and stuff like that. But it seems like I'm finally coming to the end of the road, and now I can get back to making little rustic projects and stuff of that sort. But anyhow, luckily I haven't done a whole lot to it. I'll show you guys in just a second. I'm going to explain just what I did so that way you guys have a clear understanding of what's been going on. So this is actually four um, skid boards from a skid. I've got them glued and screwed together. See that little channel there? I just 45 that with a table saw. And that is because what I want to do with this thing is I want to get some of them silver hangers I've got with the other one that I made. Put them along the bottom. And then I also want to... I'm going to make some sort of like... I want to, I want to say... It's not going to be like a 2 by 4 No, it's going to be like... Maybe like 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters or something. Just to... Like little hooks there for either toques or hats or mitts of that sort. But yeah, you can see like I've denailed it all. I've sanded it. I'm going to sand it again once we're all said and done. Um, but next thing that we're going to do, um, you can see I just went along it. I mean lots of these, lots of this wood can be warped and whatever. I want to go outside. I want to cut a 45 here on the opposite side over there. And along the bottom I want to leave the top and you guys will see it's gonna look good it's gonna look good guys I have faith in this thing I, it's been sitting underneath my bed for like I don't know how long <laughs> but anyhow guys now that we are back at it let's get to it Well guys, I think that turned out awesome looking. Look at that, eh? So I'm going to go in and I'm going to get the sander and I'm going to just smooth out <clears throat> some of these edges really quickly. You can see there's a little bit, just to clean it up a little bit. And then that will be pretty much all the stuff I got to do with the table saw for now. And then we'll figure out how we want to make the hangers here. Okay, so guys, this is kind of the plan now that you can see it. We're going to have two hangers. Still have to cut this down because it's going to sit right in this little channel I made. I've already marked these, so we're good there. And I'll have the, the hangers coming out. But first thing we got to do is we got to figure out um, the hangers. I'm thinking probably four. Just because I, I kind of intended this to be like something for mitts, but it can't be used for like hats and toques and anything like that. So I think I think I'll ha I'll make it so that way I can have this here, maybe maybe one big piece of that wood sitting there, and then I'll have a hanger here and here. And same thing here, whoops, here and here. That way it's not, you know, impeding in the in the view of this or the hangers here. And so now that I've made these, which pretty much all it was, was just a piece of skid that I just cut down by figuring out the width of that, which wasn't that hard at all. And um, now... I'm going to have to cut a 45 right there because that's the angle of the channel. And you can always use your bevel 
if you are unsure how to get that. It's not hard, guys. And then, yeah, then we'll cut the 45 right there. And it should, it should sit right in that slot nicely. And then all we'll have to do is cut this into the measured length. Well, by the looks of it, yeah, it fits in nice. Um, I like that. It's just the only thing I'm not a big fan of is just how big it is. And really, I should have planned it out better. But, oh well, I can live with this. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's got to be, frankly, this is as small as I'd want it to be, just because um, I'd like to be able to put mitts and stuff of that sort on it. But, oh well, oh well, it's okay. But it does work, and I like it, so that's good. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark all along here where I want all four of them. And then that way I can apply it to this bad boy. And then I can cut this to size. I almost forgot, guys. I want to show you guys something. See how I've got the clearer end, the cut end? That isn't worn down. Remember this, guys. Alternating is a good thing in woodworking. It's something that not everybody thinks of doing, but it looks very cool once it is done. And you'll be able to notice it. I'll show you, actually, an older project I did. This is a project I did, well, it's been, it's been a long time since I've done it. But you can see I stained this, but I didn't bother to stain that. I put gloss right ahead. And I was going through a yellow craze, and I still like the color yellow like crazy. And I put black. Alternating is a good thing, guys. Trust me. Well, everything's looking good, guys, except for, look at this. Look at this. Now, granted, it has been a very long time since I've been able to do anything. But that piece that I cut out of there and kept in the house... It literally, like, sh the wood shrunk that much. Is that unbelievable or what? Oh, well, not a big deal. It just means we're going to fill all that in with wood glue or something of that sort. We'll see. Not a big deal, though. It's just like, oh, really? And I really don't want to cut another piece of wood like that. That's okay. I can manage. But, yeah, now you guys can see... That's how it's going to look, so I will get back to you guys once I've got these all glued in, and they are all sitting nice, and I got the got it all filled in, looks awesome, and then we'll get on to probably painting it next, yeah, this is looking good. So guys, this is kind of what we wood burned in there. Hang in there. I thought that was kind of, kind of funny. Um, I don't know. I think I think it'll look good. I think it'll look good for sure. The hangers are all in. The glue is not bad. It's getting there. Probably gonna leave it overnight though. Wouldn't hurt. Um, you can see I also drew a little oval around there. I just used. Um, well, actually my lunch is in this, so, yeah. 
You never know what you'll find that's useful. <laughs> so now that that's done, um, literally, we could probably start putting on the stain, the wood stain that I like to use. And I'm going to keep this area separate because I want to make sure that we can read that. All right, well, let's get to it. So guys, now we're going to apply the wood stain, the golden oak wood stain. guys don't go too heavy with it because sometimes sometimes too much of one thing can lead to a mistake so just take it easy and I mean if it is too much then you can always sand it off okay so guys there was actually a little bit of a change in plan I was going to just leave these and then um, just put the gloss on them, but I decided instead, it just kind of looked weird, um, stain this side but leave the tips. I think that'll look good. And plus, I kind of scrapped the circle idea and the little dabbing didn't really work. Sometimes, guys, trying to do less is better. And I think this looks pretty good too. Just gotta maybe just scrape that away real quick. But literally all I did for this is when I burned it, you can see there's grooves almost in it. And I got a tip of a pen and I just dipped it with some white paint. Just ran along it real quick. And then I just put the stain over top of it and I think it looks pretty good. So anyhow guys, we are about ready to put the gloss on. got it hung up and it's been overnight now so I think that it's going to be staying put for now. Looks like I did everything right for this thing. The important thing when you're hanging such a heavy thing like that on a wall make sure you get two studs in it with a screw. So anyhow guys I'm about to show you guys it all. You'll see it. I think it looks awesome me personally but I'll leave it up to you guys. There's going to be Pictures of it going all over the place, moving all around. I think it turned out really good. Um, if you enjoyed this video, everybody, please leave a big ol' thumbs up on it. Leave a comment. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe for more. And also, don't forget to hit that bell if you haven't already. And please share it with your friends and family. Um, and you know what? Make, make one for your own. And if you do, please send me a message. Um, I'd love to see how yours turns out. You know what? We're all learning here. Anybody can do this stuff. It isn't that hard. It's a good and fun hobby to do. And, I, and honestly, there's so much we can learn from it. So, everybody, until next time, I hope that you all have an awesome day. 
wherever you are, and I will see you all next time. Bye.